It is the 20th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net tonight. Making it right after BP oil disaster is up to us, not British Petroleum. Grand Island, Louisiana. When I returned to Cordova, Alaska in December 2010 after my first six-month stint in the Gulf Coast communities impact by the BP oil disaster, fishermen greeted me with wirely, see you found your way home. Fishermen were interested in stories because even then, 21 years after the XN Valdez oil spill, there was no sense of closure. Exxon never made it right. How could Exxon make right family lives shattered by divorce, suicide, or strange illness streaming from the cleanup work? Or the sense of betrayal by the Supreme Court to hold Exxon to its promise to pay all reasonable claims? As fishermen listed to the Gulf stories, one asked, Do they know how fucked they are yet? No, I explained. They've only lost one fishing season and now they're just filling claims for the first decline. When I returned to the Gulf in early January 2011, I heard the same story from Louisiana to Florida. Everything you warned us about is coming true. During the next four months, I witnessed oil slick people from grand babies to elders, people distraught from claims denied, shellfish fisheries collapsing, baby and adult dolphins dying in unusually high numbers, Continued dispersant spraying, and at the early stages of the Gulf ecosystem collapse. All while nationwide ads claimed BP is making it right. Two years after the BP oil disaster, I asked people to help make it right in the Gulf across the country. We have the power to stop British Petroleum and the federal government for doing more harm. It's time to exercise our power in our communities, and it really is all about the community. If we don't do it, nobody will. Another story, should we worry about Earth's magnetic pole reversing? Um, I have a video from a leading scientist of the NOAA, I believe, last year, stating that it is moving at an alarming rate, uh, but you're not going to see that on mainstream news. Japanese government criticized for downplaying nuclear disaster. <laughs> they should be held liable, not criticized, arrested. Humans behind strongest Oklahoma quake ever recorded, research suggests, now this is all going back to the fracking and uh, the effects that it's having on our environment, causing earthquakes, destroying water um, tables, uh, leaks the bit, a very, very bad, bad source of energy. Um, Popo, the volcano off of uh, Mexico City, uh, emits spewing hot rock fragments and ash in Mexico. Uh, they're saying the dome has expanded and they've seen lava come out, so uh, uh, they're definitely gearing up for a major eruption uh, in a volcano close to a city of 19 million people that could be directly affected by this. Earthquake swarm attacks New Brunswick town, 35 tremors in five weeks. This is the ongoing strange noise, strange boom mystery uh, happening here around the world. Gulf seafood deformities alarm scientists, and again, this is BP making it right. You just got to remember they are sniff testing the seafood out of the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it's already way past there. Um, for smells of oil, and uh, no testing whatsoever, they're just sniffing it. Doesn't smell like oil, it's safe. So uh, be definitely advised what you eat in your diet, especially post Fukushima. Monsanto blamed for bee collapse by his leading bee research firm. Now this makes absolute sense in the corporate insanity we call reality. Uh, Monsanto, the massive, biotech, the massive biotechnology company being blamed for contributing to the dwindling bee population, has bought up one of the leading bee collapse research organizations. You think that's going to affect their outcome any at all? Ugh, the insanity. Ice age cometh, question mark. Forecasters predict the coldest May in a hundred years. Um, yeah, it's actually chilly here in Des Moines. I've got the door open, but it's only going to get up to about 60 or so today. Three Gorges Dam danger may force out 100,000 people. That's this major, massive dam they built out in China. It's already displaced like a million and a half people. They're saying uh, 
landslides and whatnot since the, the dam is completely filled in 2010 has increased 70 percent and uh, the earth around is is uh, compensating for the weight displacement that this huge dam makes uh, in central China so they're dealing with the realities of their technological genius over to uh, the extinction protocol, I got a couple of stories here I want to cover. Uh, they got a lot of war drums and economy stuff going on. But uh, Ecuador's Rentador volcano unleashes column of steam and ash. Uh, we got another volcano in Ecuador. And uh, earthquake swarms on the Iran Iraq border continues, um, seeing 5.0, 5.1 earthquakes are the latest in a series of quakes in this. Um, right on the border between uh, Iran and Iraq. Oh, come on. And there was another story here I wanted to... Yeah, there's the Mexico Popo. And the San Joaquin Valley crop damage due to their hailstorm. I already reported on that, too, so... That's about all it for them tonight. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, extreme weather coming out of uh, Israel, Turkey, uh, the Middle East there. they got a major sandstorm going on. Uh, winds up to 150 kilometers an hour. Um, tearing up greenhouses and destroying crops. And um, all the general madness that is that area at this time of year. It's like their third major storm of the season so far. And uh, everybody's dealing with that. I uh, got a flash flooding event in the East Yorkshire, Pocklington, the United Kingdom, uh, torrential downpours, we know the story. Nuclear event, Pennsylvania, the Limerick Generating Station had to shut one of its two nuclear reactors down due to loss of power. Um, of course, they're saying everything's completely under control. That's about it climate change wise tonight. I'm just going to go over to e, &E News uh, and check the headlines real quick. Squeals of delight from environmentalists. Japan will awake on May 6th, powered, by entirely, pi powered entirely by non-nuclear energy. Congratulations. DPJ Lawnmaker, as many as half of us are against the idea of restart. Uh, I believe the number is way more than that. Public op opposition running hot. Now a solid majority against nuclear power. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. All nuclear generators should be shut down and dealt with. <sighs> and people prosecuted for mass murder. More from lead investigator. The nuclear lava melted the bottom of the containment, containment vessel, leaking a huge amount of fission gases and particles into the air and water. Um, and there was reports out of Europe last year where um, the plutonium went aerosol. And uh, so basically it's all down to hot particles right now, and these are such minute particles um, that they can't really detect them. But uh, when they land on a cellular base level, your body re reacts to that nuclear um, contamination on a cellular level, and that's how cancer starts and that kind of thing. So definitely a lot more things um, we have to worry about just in everyday stuff, and there's really no hiding from it in the Northern Hemisphere anymore. Territory deactivation and long-term health problems after Fukushima studied by Japanese specialists. They are just getting started. The Japanese people are guinea pigs, uh, as well as us here in the United States and Canada. Fukushima investigation. Within one day, complete meltdown and melt-through occurred. China syndrome. There is no way the government did not know this. Cover up. Japan government monitoring shows relatively high radiation close to rate in Chiba, 200 kilometers from Fukushima. Uh, a couple of other places too. Necessary to continuously confirm accumulation and migration of radioactive substances. This stuff hasn't stopped. It's not like it was just one spill over a year ago and that was it. Um, this continues and continues, and they're putting these tents up around the reactors. Well, that doesn't, that shoots that radiation straight up into the air and into the atmosphere, and where it gets blown around, and uh, we all know the story by now. 
but uh, this is a cumulative. This is days and days and months, and now we're getting into uh, year two. Uh, Fairwinds Energy Education launches a new website. You might want to check that out. That's Arnie Gunderson land. MSNBC, Fukushima radiation, quote, much higher than expected, says biologists. Negative effects to happen quicker than at Chernobyl and maybe worse. We are just seeing the beginning of this. Uh, report, Ashai TV shows air photos of mutated plants in Tokyo. Same program to feature dire situation at number four fuel pool. Asked audience to send in more examples. Uh, again, they cannot hide um, the effects of this radiation, especially in these super high doses um, in Japan. These people should have been evacuated a year ago. Fukushima report introduced by top official Hosono. Other reactors are still considerably in severe condition. Pay attention. 14 total, uh, Di Fukushima Daiani, Onganawa, Tokea, quote, extreme situations through not, though not much has been broadcast. We've had total news block out on the Fukushima Daiani power plant, and it was much worse off than the Daiichi. Um, and of course, this guy's saying 14, they got another one saying 15 that are still on the red list. They have been damaged by this earthquake slash tsunami and uh, still not considered ready to go, even by their lame standards. Former Fukushima Daiichi reactor operator, we falsified data and rewrote daily operative reports. The truth leaks out. Uh, Gunderson, cesium-134 and 137 detected in Southern California pollen sample. When you find them both together, that's a Fukushima signature. And I'm going to leave tonight with the mother load, quote-unquote. Common spent fuel just 50 meters away from reactor number four. So you got to remember we got those seven reactors with the spent fuel pool on top of them plus a common pool less than 50 uh, meters away from number four, which is so critical. None of these have containment vessels on them. We've already got three reactors at confirmed China syndrome. Uh, they can't get near two of them, and um, things are just going to get, they, they need to get on this. They really do. And uh, I have no idea what the answers are, but uh, here it is, folks. Enjoy while you can. Appreciate all your comments and your uh, videos. Thanks.